when I was little in my father's house, we had a children's room. We were actually five sharing this room. And in this room, all our belongings were there. We had wardrobes where our clothes were. We had bookshelves where our primary school books then were. But as we grew up, the room became smaller. And we started feeling uncomfortable, five of us in the same room. I think that was the time that boarding school took me away and saved me from that. <laughs> Right now, how many people stay in that room now? Just one person, our last born. And I think the room is way too small for her right now. That's the same thing with beds. As they grow, they get bigger. The space you can find them for the brooding gets smaller. And at this point in time, for their best performance, it's best to increase the space you've already allotted to them. Today actually is the 14th day, and we are going to be increasing the floor spacing of the area we brooded them. So in this video I'll be sharing that with you and the video is starting right now. Please bear with me. Floor spacing is a whole ball game that has to do with calculation and in this video I'm not going deep into that now. In this video I just want to make only common sense. You understand? So we are going to be using just common sense to increase the, the space allotted to this base at this point in time. Let me show you the best currently. They are 14 days old today and there has been a lot of development here. They look bigger and the room, this building area looks smaller. Actually today being the 14th day, the temperature is meant to be optimized at um, between 26 to 28 degrees. Will you believe last night, upon all the code we had over here in the compound, this room, this room needed no charcoal pot because the temperature here was way high. This best we are generating up to 29 degrees of body heat. I didn't own any source of heat here. No charcoal pot was lit here last night. Upon all the code within the compound, but here was hot because the bears have increased, they've grown, and as they grow, their body heat starts manifesting. And as you can see, some of them have started showing that feather. You can look closer, you see? The feathers have started coming out. So that marks it and makes it a need for the room space to be increased. So what we'll be doing today is just something small. We'll be removing just this, this feedback demarcation to give them space to extend them into this spot. Yeah, here is a bit messed up. I did a lot of shady activities here. I lit charcoal pots here. The best stayed here for just one day. So as you can see on the floor, that is the thicker materials everywhere. I've done a lot of, a lot of transactions over here in raising this base. Here is where the feedbacks are charcoal bag. All the tray feeders have been removed and we've completely switched over to the cone feeders. So in this video, what you need to know is that if you don't increase the space for your best, that's common sense. I'm not going into the floor spacing calculations now. If you don't really increase the space for your best, their performance will not be okay. They will drop in performance. They won't be comfortable. They will generate more heat, more than required. And also, in fact, they won't generally, they won't do well. You see your best eating and they're not doing well. So floor spacing, I'm not going to change the calculation, as I said earlier. But using common sense to increase your space is a practice that you should introduce in your farm if you don't do that before. But if you do that, that's nice. Always monitor them and then know when to do that. Before I raise it, the demarcation behind me actually, the first thing I'll be doing is to install more binding wires. More binding wires over here. Binding wires that will be holding the feeders. Because I don't want the feeders to be on the floor anymore. I want to suspend them. And then after that, this nipple blinkers here will be removed. This one is was made to be removable. It's just all about locking this place and then detaching it and then remove it. Then the binding wires that we have here, I will also install the feeders here. Another nipple drinker that I will be removing is this one here. 
see where it terminated it terminated here that means it's short so over here i only just need to lock it lock it there and then remove it as well so that i'll be using the the binding wires attached to it to suspend feeders as well so that at the end of the day we only have three nipple lines this one here this one here this one here and then this one here and then after that the next thing i'll do is to remove the the brooding paper in this section that the best are not yet in remove it clear this whole place and then open the trampoline for them to move over and i do the same thing across before i free them to feel so comfortable for themselves a few moments later okay right now we are done increasing the floor spacing these birds are actually intelligent as you can see from here most of them have escaped from the former position and now is their new yes now their new favorite place everyone wants to go to the new site but with time they would spread themselves evenly and balance well within the the new space and the old space as well so how do you how do, what is your practice in increasing the floor spacing for your best? Please um, feel free to share with us in the comment section of this video. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section as well. Now, if you want the calculation for floor spacing, probably you tell me the dimension of your poultry house and I'll tell you how many beds it can contain at adults, at adulthood. That's at six weeks. You know, we use the, we use the adult size to measure the floor spacing for a particular building. So if you want me to help you do that, just tell me the dimension of your poultry house in feet, and I'll help you do it. But for now, what we just did here is just common sense work. That's it guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then see you in our next video.